Conrad. Been working on this for days. When was the last time you slept? Go home! I'm close on this one, though. I'm having all the suspects meet here tonight. Hopefully somebody makes a mistake. Good. Look like yourself. you got yourself a surprise here, Conrad. Jenny! Darling, I know you're busy, but you haven't been home in a while. I wanted to bring you some dinner. Oh, you're wonderful. It's this case. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, it all started about a week ago. I'm so glad you took my advice and decided to break up with that idiot. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, Franz, you smell so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my sixth shower today. You like the scent? It's Old Spice. Tangible danger. So is this what you like in a woman? Get out of my way. So. Hey, got our money. Uh, I ha I'll have it, I promise. Yeah, you will. Mr. Barry didn't want to wait. You had to have to your, your cousin, Mr. Kowalski. Hey, Dolph, w wanna go to a movie with me tonight? With you? No thanks. But, but... No. Sometimes, it just happens like that. dogs murdering the unicorns and then Santa Claus came down and killed everyone and then I don't remember that at all Miss Bonacore. Here. Mr. Catunio. Yeah. Miss Gribbon. What? Mr. McCann. Miss Shippers. Here. Mr. Schmitz. Here. Mr. Seeley. Present. Here. Mr. Turnton. Present, sir. Mr. Verity. I'm <coughs> here. Mr. Wall. Sir. Obviously, none of you have taken to heart what I said to John Wrights. You're, you're saying that we're the worst seminar section that you've ever had? By far. <laughs> Electrical problems. Who was it then? One of us? I uh, wouldn't touch that. <clears throat> it's got blood on it. You might have it. Oh. Okay, miss? I think I'll be fine. He's just gone. Who has that donor he's given us? is no wonder. <laughs> Maybe he just had to leave. Really suddenly and mysteriously. Or he's dead. Somebody, call 911! I haven't got any service. Everybody stay here. I'll be back. Sure. As a prefect, I have to check in after every serious incident. My father had a lot of enemies. 
He never gave a good Don Rags in his life. It could have been anyone. I just talked to Carter. Cell phone tower's down. We're cut off. He went for the cops. <laughs> for now, everybody just go back to your door. This is a tricky case. No body and hardly any evidence. Well, hopefully he turns up and we won't have any more trouble from this campus. This one isn't gonna just go away. So what do we know about this guy? He was dating Miss Kowalski, and he had an angry ex in his shippers. But he also owed Mr. Veridan some money, and we've gotten some tips that Veridan's enforcer tips paid him a visit. We should find out more about this Miss Kowalski. We have to find the pattern. Who's next on the list? Junior gave her? Yeah, like that one. We have to find him before he kills anybody else. You. I know you did this. And I'm not gonna let you pin it on me. Thanks everyone for coming. Now, as you all know, we have one missing person and four dead bodies. Everyone in this room is a suspect and everyone in the section was a suspect at one point in time. However, we can eliminate the four dead people. Now, my first thought was that it might have been Miss Shippers, Mr. Wall's angry ex. You can't pin this on me. I know. You were seen leaving campus with a freshman the night of Mr. Wall's murder, so you're okay. Now, my next thought was that it might have been Mr. Veridan, to whom Mr. Wall and Ms. Kowalski owed money. I might have had Mr. Tips rough up a couple people and get what I want, but I would never kill a woman. You're a rat? 
but you're innocent of this. You were seen beating up Mr. McCann during at least two of these murders. Mr. McCann, you're innocent. You were the one being beaten up. Uh huh, Mr. McCann. Ms. Kroll left campus right after the initial incident with Mr. Seeley and has not returned to campus yet. So she couldn't have done it. And Mr. Seeley has been crying on Mr. Turrentine's shoulder ever since that first night. This has been really traumatizing for me. I'm sure it has been. <laughs> Mr. Turrentine, on top of being the shoulder for Mr. Seeley to cry on, is also a prefect at this school and could not have done it because he can't even watch a movie in his own room. Now, Ms. Gribben, over here. Okay, close enough. Now, we all know you're kind of crazy. You're just crazy enough to have committed the coffee murder. But during that one, you were in therapy. So you're innocent. Which leaves one person who could have done this. This person blamed Mr. Seeley for all of his problems. Mr. Seeley, Mr. Seeley failed him last year and made him retake the whole semester. This prompted Ms. Bonacore to convince Ms. Kowalski to dump him and go with Mr. Wall. Mr. Coutinho put all the pieces together and had to be dealt with. But this person made a mistake. On the night of Mr. Coutinho's murder, he took a souvenir from the crime scene. Now, Josh, where do you think Schmitz got that tie? No! Where's Seely? What did you do with Seely? <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know! Because he can't even watch a movie in his own room. Yeah. Sucks to suck. <laughs> I hate punch you in the face. <laughs> Actually, you should hour him. <laughs> Alright, lights. smelling chocolate sauce. <laughs> it's, making me, it's making me want chocolate milk. Lights. Okay, you. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Where's Seely? What did you do with Seely? <laughs> Lights. Camera. Action. So <laughs> Lights. Oh, I'm not saying lights. The lights never change. <laughs> Mr. McCann. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> 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 How much sleep did you guys get? Out of focus. Um. Oh, even better. Lens fling. Let's do some lens fling. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sixth shower today. You like the scent? Shoot. <laughs> I can't do this. With you? No thanks. But, 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 but. You no, are 